The Ontario Health Study is uh, the largest health study uh, ever undertaken in Canada and one of the largest in the world and it's designed to uh, collect data from every consenting adult Ontarian, so everyone at least 18 years of age, and to build uh, a resource for discovering the causes of common diseases but also uh, looking at uh, how we might treat them better and uh, how we might actually prevent them. They're really important uh, because we uh, don't often have a huge evidence base for all of the things we do in clinical medicine. So these are designed to produce that evidence base. They're also designed to help us understand what causes co common chronic disease. Uh, so we have a, an epidemic of diabetes. Every hour, 20 Canadians are diagnosed with diabetes. And uh, you can look at the same thing for cancer and heart disease. Uh, these things are, are major problems. And uh, we just don't know what's causing them. And so we need resources to find out what causes them. And also we're finding out a lot of new things. Um, the generation of new knowledge is just uh, phenomenal at the moment. And we're discovering genes every day that underlie common disease. Uh, but we don't have the frameworks to translate these, uh, these findings into actual clinical practice or something that would have public health meaning. And so these are the translational platforms, if you like, that will allow us to take this information and translate it into community health. The most interesting aspects for me of the community at the moment is all about community engagement and how we reach every bit of our community. So how do we reach uh, ethnic minorities? How do we reach cultural minorities? How do we, how do we reach into uh, all of the segments of our society? And that's a really fascinating challenge. Uh, unfortunately, we've got lots of help. Uh, all of the universities and all of the hospitals in Ontario uh, have endorsed us, uh, all the health advocacy groups, and they're really helping us uh, reach into uh, all of those segments of the community. So some of the things we're doing will directly feed into clinical practice. Uh, and one of the great things about doing this online, uh, so there's a couple of things here. One is that no one's ever tried to engage an entire society at this scale before, and no one's ever tried to do it online before. So this is really the bleeding edge of uh, population-based human research. And because we're doing it online, there's lots of opportunities there to not only take information from people with their, from volunteers with their consent, but also to give information back. And so we can actually feed targeted health promotion information back to people. And not only can we feed it back to people, we can try four different types of, of uh, promotion information around stroke, for example, and see which one works at one year, three years, five years. And that then goes back directly back into the clinical system. So we've worked hard to engage the LINs, we've worked hard to engage the general practitioners in Ontario, we've worked hard to engage the public health officers, and they're all on site. So we've got a translational platform, so this will feed directly into clinical practice. And then of course the scientific results also will feed, and it's a slightly longer term thing, but will feed directly into, uh, into clinical medicine, into public health practice. The role of uh, Sinai is to, uh, to really take a leadership role in this study, and uh, in particular the Samuel Lumenfeld, uh, where there's a huge uh, depth of intellectual talent, and uh, a lot of those people are actually involved in leading various bits of the Ontario Health Study. There are 30 scientific working groups uh, with uh, over 200 senior clinicians and scientists from across the province involved, and many of those uh, people leading those working groups are from Mount Sinai. So definitely, this is a, a this is definitely a Sinai leadership uh, project. Uh, it's a flagship project for the province, and it will be a flagship project for the world.